I'm Joss Whedon, and you're watching The Watcher, and I'm watching The Watcher, who's watching you watch her. Weird. Marvelites, I'm Lorraine Sink, and you are watching The Watcher. We're still reeling after all the big news coming out of New York Comic Con. There were tons of interviews on Marvel Live, huge panels, costumes, toys, games, and so many exciting announcements. So let's get to it, shall we? First up, a huge announcement. Marvel is coming together with the illustrious Neil Gaiman and Mark Buckingham to bring you one of the most acclaimed series of all time. Miracle Man. After years of being out of print, Marvel is bringing you all previous issues of Miracle Man and will be restoring and re-releasing the title. And guys, this is huge. Not only are we re-releasing, but Gaiman and Buckingham will be finishing their uncompleted arc on the title with all new issues. Look for Miracle Man number one in print and digital this January, and check out an interview with Neil Gaiman about Miracle Man linked at the end of the show. And speaking of living legends, another exciting announcement. Knight of the Living Dead filmmaker and father of the zombie horror genre as we know it, George A. Romero is teaming up with Marvel to pen Empire of the Dead, a five-issue limited series with artist Alex Lee. The series kicks off in January and is set in New York City. And Romero hints that you might see more than just zombies in his rogues gallery. My guess is probably that it's subway conductors. Trains. Coming up this year, there will also be four new female solo titles as part of all new Marvel Now. In January, Black Widow gets a much deserved turn by Nathan Edmondson with art by Phil Noto, where we'll explore her all too complicated personal life. In February, She Hulk cleans up the streets and the courtroom, written by real life lawyer Charles Soule with art by Javier Polito. In March, Electra goes for the jugular in her new solo by Zeb Wells with art by Mike Del Mundo, and we get a relaunch of Captain Marvel, which takes this series higher than ever before as writer Kelly Sue DeConnick is joined by artist David Lopez. And in the words of editor Janine Schaefer at the Women of Marvel panel, pre-order your comics. Pre-ordering at your shop means keeping a book you love going. And if you miss the Women of Marvel panel, you miss something truly inspiring. Be sure to look out for more panels, which will be posted on our YouTube channel in coming days. And there are tons more new titles announced. In January, we'll not only get a Black Widow title, the Merc with a Mouth will also get bloody working for Dracula. In Deadpool, The Gauntlet, a brand new infinite comic for mobile devices written by Deadpool co-writer Jerry Duggan with art by Riley Brown. Avengers gets a sister title as Nick Spencer teams up with co-writer Jonathan Hickman and artist Stefano Caselli for Avengers World, where we will greater explore the Avengers rookies such as Hyperion, Smasher, Cannonball, and Starbrand. And while I know we were all very sad to see Peter David close doors on X Factor, rejoice! Because in January he is back with all new X Factor number one alongside artist Carmine DiGian Domenico, with Polaris heading up a new team including Gambit and Quicksilver. Coming up in February, New Warriors are finally back with Justice, Speedball, and Nova. Sound familiar, Nova fans? By Christios and Marcus too. Punisher moves to LA in his new solo ongoing series by Nathan Edmondson and Mitch Gerards, while She-Hulk number one kicks off right here in New York City. Coming in March, we won't just see those Elektra and Captain Marvel solo titles. We'll also see solo series for Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Mike Allred, all new Ghost Rider by Felipe Smith and Trad Moore, Iron Patriot by Alesh Kot and Gary Brown, and a more adult looking Loki and Loki Agent of Asgard by Al Ewing and Lee Garbutt. Also in March, Secret Avengers will be getting a relaunch, adding Spider Woman to the team by Alesh Kot with art by Michael Walsh. And you know Avengers Arena is headed towards its thrilling end. So get ready to pick up the pieces with Dennis Hopeless and artist Kev Walker in Avengers Undercover as the survivors of Murder World go behind enemy lines of the Masters of Evil. Guys, this is all just the beginning. In games, Marvel's Avengers Alliance comes to Android and gets new Thor The Dark World Spec Ops. Marvel Hero gets new playable characters such as Squirrel Girl and Gambit and more new costumes. New levels are added to Marvel's Puzzle Quest. A new Doctor Strange table comes to Marvel Pinball. Marvel Lego Super Heroes with over 150 playable characters comes to consoles this week. And 
get ready to run, jump, and smash on a new Marvel mobile game aptly titled Marvel Run, Jump, Smash. And people, there is even more stuff that just won't fit into this show, so please head over to our Marvel YouTube channel to watch Marvel Live interviews with folks like George Romero, actors from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Terry Killam of SNL, and many more. Watch footage from our awesome panels with our talented creators. Check out Unreal Cosplay with our costume correspondent, Yaya Han. Plus, way more info on all of these new titles, game announcements, Marvel TV, and so much more, all on Marvel.com. What are you guys most excited about from New York Comic Con? Tell me what you think down below. Oh, and congrats to Marvel Unlimited Plus subscribers who got their very own event at the con where they got to see that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy footage from San Diego Comic Con. Jealous. I'm just saying, it's not too late to join before our next convention. Oh, and you guys, serious love to all of you guys at home who tuned in and tweeted along or just came up and said hello. You guys are the beast. I'll see you next time, true believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Marvel, your universe.